The story of bagpipes in Cornwall starts in the medieval world and the Cornish mystery plays. One such example is a Camborne play of 1504 called Bunin's Mary Isaac. Here pipers were summoned. Pebo Menstro Volonic, my Helene Doncia de Son. Pipe you hearty minstrels that we might dance without delay. Bagpipes were ubiquitous in the medieval world, coming in all shapes and sizes. There are some lovely medieval carvings of pipers in Cornwall, which give us a glimpse of some of these bagpipes. But it is a detailed carving at Altenon Church that has inspired the modern reconstruction that I have here. And you can see that it has a, a double chanter, which makes for some fascinating harmonies and quite unique sound. That was a tune called Jennifer Gentle, collected in the early 1800s by Cornish historian Davis Gilbert. The double chanter pipes lend themselves well to accompanying other reed instruments. Here we have a recording of the double chanter Cornish pipes joining forces with the Breton and Bombard and the Gaeta, which are bagpipes from Galicia in northern Spain. This is a 16th century tune from Foy called John Dory and we recorded it some little while ago now in Elizabeth Eel Church. To go with the tune, we got some lovely images of those carvings of Cornish pipers in Cornish churches.
a medieval rendering of John Dory. We see little historical record of bagpipes in Cornwall after the 17th century, but there has been a revival of interest of late. In the 1960s, Gorseth Kona made occasional use of a piper for the Wardic procession. Uh, and in 1990, I was privileged to be invited to lead the first St. Piran's pilgrimage across the dunes at Perham Poor. And I seem to have been kept busy with my pipes on March the 5th ever since. In the past couple of decades, there has been a leap in the technology of bagpipes. Plastic reeds and Gore-Tex bags make them more reliable than their medieval ancestors and uh, a bit less prone to harboring bacteria. I've taken advantage of this to create a modern set of pipes, which I call the Booker Pipes. These uh, serve me well for traditions like Cornish geese dancing, as well as the uh, sometimes robust weather of St Piran's Day. <laughs> That was the new key heaver dance arranged for pipes. We're not able to hold live St. Perrin's events this year. So here are some pipe tunes accompanying images from previous years, together with a little geezing thrown in for good measure. Gold Piran Lowen. <laughs> 